Hey friends, this is Jeff, a wanted missionary, and I'm here to share with you a short video on how to make a quick and easy game square. Um, typically, a wanted game squares are either painted on a gym floor, painted on asphalt, uh, they're inlaid in the carpet, um, they're painted outside. There's such a thing as a game mat, and I'll show you a picture of that here in a minute. Uh, this time of year, there's a lot of new clubs starting, and for some, it makes it very difficult, just one more thing to do. So they, uh, do they have time to uh, paint a game square? Maybe, maybe not. Um, and uh, this season in ministry, there's churches that have a game square inside. Uh, however, due to COVID, they're having to do their games outside. So I'm going to, rather than make a whole nother game square, uh, I'm going to show you how you can make a quick and easy one. Uh, just take a minute or two. So first thing is, do you have to have... Um, a game square to do a wani, and the answer is no. Uh, we have a lot of churches that are they play minute to win it games, they play dodgeball, they play um, other running games. There, in fact, I'm going to show you a picture here of a church that does as game lines. Uh, so no, you don't have to have a game circle to do a wana. However, I would encourage you to think about putting a game square down for a couple of reasons. Number one is these are one of games are very unique and these kids they're, they're fun unique the kids will never play these games at school or anywhere else so it's a unique thing for the your wanna club uh secondly there's unlimited once you figure out how to put down the square and once you figure out how the circle works and so on there's just unlimited number of things you can do with the game square uh number three um um you can uh um um, you can have a lot of kids on there. So you can have 60 to 80 kids uh, on the game score. In fact, I've done games with 60 to 80 kids on the game score, and they can all keep them all involved, and there's just so much you can do. Uh, now, one thing I would say, too, I'm going to show you a picture here in a minute. You don't have to have a game square. You could have a game rectangle, uh, and that's totally acceptable. So i just like to encourage you to think about uh, making – Using a one a game square, it, it makes clubs so fun and so exciting. A lot of adults that you talk to, they still talk about the thing they remember most about a wanna is the game square. So I'm going to share my screen here, uh, and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing I want to show you is, is just kind of talk about the rules for this game square, and uh, that'll help you understand how you can make it simplified. So these lines on the outside, these are the team lines. Now, there are some games you can play using that those lines, but for the most part, those lines are where the teams line up. Just keep that in mind. Then we've got a uh, the, the game pin, or you can use a cone. goes right here on the corner. That's the starting line. So the red team starts behind the behind this line here right next to the cone the yellow team starts behind this line and right here and then there's a green pin and there's a blue pin and then the red team will run around the circle all the way around the circle and they come back around their pin and there's an orange scoring pin in the middle or some clubs will have red blue green yellow scoring pins right on this inner circle and the reason they use the inner circle or the inner square is for safety reasons. So imagine four kids running around high speed. They all get their head down, grabbing the orange scoring pin. Uh, and you can imagine what could happen. So, uh, so there's an orange scoring pin, or you can have the red, blue, green, yellow scoring pins on the inner square. Uh, now, you notice the circle here. There's a few games you can play using that circle. Uh, however, for the games that you run around the pin, you actually don't need the circle. The rules are you run around the pins. So if the circle wasn't there, that would be totally fine. In fact, a lot of third world countries, they don't even have a circle. They just have a square and some pins. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So this is a game mat. The red team lines up here. Uh, the yellow team lines up here. The red team starts behind the the red pin, and so on. This is a, uh, the church put no 
red, blue, green, yellow lines, but they painted the zones. So it's just a little bit different uh, painting scheme uh, for that square. This is a church that had carpet, so they had uh, Velcro tape, and they put Velcro tape over the carpet. It stays down once a year, once every other year when they want to clean the carpets. They can pull the Velcro up. Chairs can slide. They, this is very stable. And so we help them go down and put the Velcro tape. The kids can play, and uh, it's just another way you can do it. This is a club, had a smaller space, and so you can see they put the square or they put the circle, they painted the circle, but they had to have a smaller square uh, because they didn't have enough room. And so rather than having the square the correct size and the circle smaller, they made the circle the correct size and the square smaller so the kids would have more room to, more room to run. So you would have a blue pin here and the kids, the blue team would start right here and run around this circle. This is a club, I believe this is in Romania, and they use lights in the snow to play games at. This is a club in Nevada. They have a small club. Well, actually, it's growing. But they don't have enough kids for four teams. So the teams line up on the against the wall here. The church didn't want to put down any tape. So they put the, have them line up against the wall. The kids run around these cones and then run into the scoring basket. So you can do it that way. This is I was telling you about a, a uh, game rectangle. So you can notice the space here. Here on the right, uh, this is a church in Henderson, Nevada. There's some, some pillars here that they couldn't, they didn't want the kids running into the pillars. So they made a rectangle. And so the kids can still run. It's the same distance. But instead of running in a circle, they run in an oval. And that works just fine. Here's the classic game uh, square and, and circle. This church is in Las Vegas. They meet outside. They put their game square um, on the basketball court. They just put the pins down. You notice they don't have any tape, no markings. They just use the pins, and then the kid, the kid, the team lines up here, and they run around the, those pins there. This is a um, a church in the Sierras. And uh, they don't have any, um, they don't want to paint, the, the facility won't let them paint on the floor so that they run around these little orange uh, pins. This is a church that did an outreach event out in the grass in a park. So they, you can't really tell, but there's um, nylon webbing that they're using for uh, the lines, the team lines, and they put the, put the uh, pins in the middle and they can play games outside in the park. Great outreach event. This is a church that's using um, um, masking tape. So they put the pins in, and the kids stand on the masking tape, and they run around the pins, and they play their games right here. And they, and they can. I've seen churches that will do that. It takes them about two or three minutes to put down the Velcro tape, and then when the game time's over, they pull up the Velcro tape. It's cheap. Uh, costs them a dollar or two a week to use masking tape. This is a church I was telling you about uses game lines. So they didn't have room for a circle in their fellowship hall. This is their fellowship hall. And so they put these lines down. So for instance, uh, there's a game that they kids play where they put a bean bag on their head and they run around the circle. In this place, in this church, they will, um, rather than run around the circle, the kids will put their bean bag on their head run up that line, run back to the line, give it to the next person, run up the back to the line, and they play games that way. So that's a possibility to do too. They put these square here so that you can, that's for discipline purposes, for the teams to line up, and then secondly, for opening ceremony. So yeah, it's a great, they have a great scheme there. It works fine. The kids have fun, and um, it's all good. So here you go. Here's how you can put down a, game square. This isn't a parking lot of a school, but it could be the parking lot of your church. It could be a grass field. It could be a park. It could be um, a field anywhere. So the first thing you're going to do is mark out the square. So I put red, blue, green, yellow. I use cones. <coughs> so you, I put red, blue, green, yellow cones. But it could be cones. could be rocks. could be anything. 
and make a square. So like, for instance, this red team is going to line up here and their, their circle pin is going to be right here. So you make, mark out the square. Then you put the um, orange scoring pin in the middle. And I just eyeballed it. And that's totally fine. So then you put the circle pins. So like I said, the red team will start here on this circle pin. And they'll run around. And then... Um, actually, it's the other way around. The red team is lined up here. And they'll run this way into there. So um, they start here. The, the orange team starts here, or the yellow team starts here. And they run around the circle into, into the orange scoring pin. So that would took me about two minutes to lay out those things. I eyeballed it. And so if you want to meet outside or you want to, don't have time to put a, squ a square in, if you're a new club, um, quick, easy, Simple way to do it. If you have any questions, let me know. By the way, uh, if you like these training videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And every time I make one of these things, and actually if you subscribe to it and then hit the little the uh, notification bell, you'll get notified every time I um, make a video, a training video, uh, and you can subscribe to the channel. So anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to give me a call. Uh, I'll put my... Um, email in the call or email i'll put my email in the the notes for the on this youtube video okay thanks a bunch and uh, we'll see y'all soon bye bye